Hello and welcome to High Voltages. I have downloaded the ultrasonic simulation model for Proteus and I have run the basic example which is to show the distance on serial monitor as you can see on the screen. On demand of many people I am making this video and we are going to write code and make circuit for two way traffic signal using ultrasonic sensor or you may say density based traffic signal. We will be using Proteus simulation but the code and circuit will work for real components too. So let's get started. So I have opened fresh Proteus window and let's start with circuit. So first of all let's import the component we will need. There is an extra pin in ultrasonic simulation Proteus model. But in actual you will have 4 pins trigger, echo, VCC and ground. The extra pin here will be connected to potentiometer to simulate distance values. You will not need potentiometer for real project. So that simulated model will simulate the, the distance using the potentiometer. For the traffic lights, I am using traffic light model. But you can use 3 different LEDs and make sure to connect their cathode to the ground of Arduino and their anode will go to the respective pins of the Arduino. Now let's make connections. Okay, so now let's write the code for our project. Let's start by initializing the pins and defining them as output. As you can see that I have initialized all the pins. These 6 pins are for the LEDs or traffic light and these 2 pins are for the first ultrasonic sensor and these 2 pins are for the second ultrasonic sensor. And in the setup body, we have defined them as output. Now let's write a function for distance. So we can calculate the distance from ultrasonic sensor. We have two functions, calculate distance and microseconds to centimeter. The calculate distance function will calculate the distance by sending a ultrasonic wave. And when it is reflected back, echo will receive it. And then we will calculate the duration of sending and receiving of the pulse by using the pulse in command. And we will send that duration to the other function which is microsecond to centimeter which will convert the duration into centimeter. And after receiving the value in centimeter we will convert it into meter by dividing it by 100 and in the end we will return the distance in meter. Now 
let's use that function in our loop body and write something in our loop body so we can do something in the loop function first of all we have calculated the distance of both ways by using the both ultrasonic sensors and then we have compared these distance if distance 1 is greater than distance 2 the ye both yellow leds will be turned on for 200 milliseconds and then while unless distance 1 is greater than distance 2 the red led the first red led will be on and the second green led will be on and the second case is if distance 2 is greater than distance 1 for that case similarly both the yellow leds will be turned on for 200 millisecond and then while unless the distance 2 is greater than distance 1 the second red led will be on and the first green led will be on so now let's run our code and let's see the response of the okay i have uploaded the hex file and now let's check the project you can see that distance 2 is greater than distance 1 so the second red led is on and the first green led is on now let's decrease the distance to so we can check the second condition yellow leds are on and now distance 1 is greater than distance 2 so you, as you have seen that the yellow led were turned on for 200 millisecond and now the first red led and the second green led is turned on so that's it thank you for watching Please subscribe High Voltages for more.